Hi everyone, I'm here with my monthly favorites. It is May favorites. Yay, I'm so excited. It's the last day of May. I'm filming this on Friday, May 31st, I think is what today is. And I'm super excited that May is over because June is our big cruise and I'm so stoked. And I'm just really excited to go cruise through Northern Europe and do some shopping and sightseeing. And so um, I, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'll have tons of pictures throughout our trip. I also posted all of the places that we're going. So if I have any subscribers in any of those places, I would love to um, possibly meet up. I just think it'd be so fun to meet some of my subscribers that are abroad to share with you what some of my favorites were for the month and also since this is going to take place of my Friday favorites I wanted to show you products I've also just been loving this week as well as the whole month. So the first thing is a non beauty favorite. It's I'm going to start and kind of like switch it up a little bit and do a non beauty favorite first and it is this um okay. First of all, if you know how much I love coffee, like if I could, I would just like drink coffee all day every day, which is pretty much what I do anyways. But I'm usually one of those that drinks the really foo-foo drinks full of sugar, that stuff for you. And so um, at the grocery store, I actually saw this silk iced latte coffee house drink in vanilla, and it is um, a vanilla soy latte. The great thing about this is it's only 100 calories, which is awesome. So it's not, you know, completely sugar-free or anything like that, but it is a healthier alternative for when I am wanting um, a nice, cold coffee, but I don't want to have all the calories of my usual coffee drinks, which are like 400 calories or more. It also has no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no high fructose corn syrup. It's dairy-free, um, non-GMO ingredients, and it's just really yummy. I really, really like this. I never thought I would drink soy milk, so I'm not a huge soy milk person, but I really like this. And so I like to just have mine with a glass of ice, and I usually have a straw, but I'm out of straws, but it's really tasty. Seriously, it's so good. Oops, got lipstick all over it. I really, really like it. It's super refreshing. This is the vanilla, the vanilla flavor. They also have a mocha flavor too. So I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, I really like it. And I just get it at any grocery store. I've seen it at Target. I've seen it at um, Safeway, Rayleigh's. I mean, every grocery store I've been to, I've seen it. I really like it. And it's not very expensive, like a couple bucks with normal price of milk. But so that's my first favorite. It's a healthier alternative to my normal sugary coffee drinks and it tastes super good. So I love that. So then on to some other favorites. The first is my hair. I hope you can tell the difference because there's a big difference. Um, I put a 10 more blonde streaks in here. So it's lightening up a little bit for the summertime. A lot of you seem to really love the lighter hair. I probably will never go blonde ever again, but I am liking, you know, just having some blonder highlights, lightening a bit. I really love it. I just got it done this morning. I love that. I also got my eyebrows tinted and done again. So I will be able to do a brow tutorial of kind of how I fill them in and everything. I really don't have much brow product on them at all, but I had, was so excited about my brow tutorial. Then the footage was corrupt and I couldn't get it off. And so I had like literally the first 30 seconds of my brow tutorial and the rest was gone. And then my brows got crazy. So I just couldn't do a tutorial, but I will. I'm hoping to film one before I leave for Europe and have it um, go up while I'm gone. So Yes, I'm loving my hair, I'm loving my eyebrows, I'm loving my shirt today. It says Rolling Stones. I got this from Wet Seal. It's like one of those big armpit ones. So I just have like a little bandeau from American Eagle on. So I really love this, I'm feeling very rocker. Um, I'll start with like the stuff that I'm wearing that I'm just obsessed with this month. I have on um, this eye look that is going up on June 10th and I just, love this combination and uh, the, the technique just I you know if you watch me for a long time you usually know like I do a full color on all my lid darken the crease out a little or the outer V out a little bit but this time I've kind of been doing a gradient of like a really soft color and then like a warm brown on the inner corner or the inner half of the lid and then smoking it out I'll show you the products I've been using and I just love this um, I've been using the milk pencil from NYX and it's just the white one. I've been putting it on the inner corners and then using my Laura Mercier Coco Caviar Stick, which you guys have seen me use this in tutorials before. It's just a really nice, rich matte brown and kind of smoking that on the outer part of the lid and smoking that on the lower lash line. And then the shadows that I've been using that I'm just 
like seriously so obsessed with and I know I'm taking them to Europe which I'm going to once I figure out what I'm going to take to Europe I will do a video on what I'm taking because I've had a ton of requests to do that so um, the colors that I've been using constantly uh, for my just to kind of blend in the crease to warm it up I've been using saddle which is just a really nice warm kind of orangey brown um, for the inner part of my eye like the light part that you see I've been using a combination of this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Vanilla Bean, which is just a matte kind of vanilla shade, and a little bit, oh sorry, this one's Vanilla Bean right here. It's just a nice MAC, matte vanilla shade, and then this one is Mylar from MAC. Creamy, matte, ivory shade. So I've been using, been using that on the inner third of my eye, and then I've been putting like just a sparkly color like nylon or floof on the inner, inner corner, and then towards the middle of my lid, let me see if I can, I've been mixing these three colors. This one is texture, which is like a really pretty um, orangey brown with a little bit of sparkle. This one is Swiss chocolate and that is saddle. And I've just been kind of mixing all three and then just blending that right in the center of the lid with a fluffy brush like this one from Bedellum Tools. It's a um, 776 brush. It's dirty because I used it, but I've just been using that and just blending that on the inner half of the lid and then smoking out the outer corner, there's a bug, smoking out the outer corner with either um, Espresso and Sorcery from MAC. This is a nice matte brown and then this is a nice warm kind of reddish brown or um, these colors here. This one is, I think, Foley. Yeah, Foley from MAC, which is a warm brown and then like, um, handwritten, any of these like chocolatey browns that you see. I've been just kind of using that to smoke out the lower lash line and the outer V, and I've been loving it. I've been loving wearing this really warm brown eye. I think it just makes my blue eyes pop. Like I said, the tutorial for this look is coming up June 10th, and ever since I filmed, the day before I filmed that tutorial is when I first wore that. I've literally worn this eye almost every single day, and I love it. And then I've been using my black track fluid line on my upper lash line for a gel liner where I usually use liquid liner so I've been loving that. For my cheeks, a blush that I've been just loving is this one Ripe for Love from MAC. It's from their Temperature Rising collection and it's a really pretty peach shade. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I've been applying it with a Real Techniques, what is this called, multitask brush and it just is a great Oh, okay, on. Ethan is supposed to be taking a nap and he opened his door and had no clothes on and no diaper. So now that we've resolved that situation, um, this blush is awesome and I love using it with the Real Techniques Multitasking Brush. Super soft, gives a nice application and I love this color. I've been loving the smoky, naturally-ish brown eye with like a pop on the cheeks. I think it's really, really pretty for summer. All right, so then the next thing I've been loving is this highlighter from Estee Lauder. I got this for um, myself as well as my friend Laura for her birthday. And this is in Heat Wave. And I had been eyeing this at our Macy's forever and they were out, so I finally ordered it off the Nordstrom website. And it's just a beautiful gold highlight. It's super pretty. I think this would look gorgeous on like really deep skin tones, but I'm wearing it today and I love it. So I don't know if you can see that really pretty sheen. I think the gold is gorgeous for the summertime, especially when you have a little tan going on, a little bronzer, a little bit of this really pretty gold highlight and you are set. So this is in Heat Wave, Nordstrom's is where I got it. I love it, it's awesome, I highly recommend it. Another thing I've been loving is my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love this, it's very light on the skin. It kind of just sets everything, seals it in, doesn't look cakey, doesn't look powdery. I don't know about you, but I have like peach fuzz cr like crazy on my face. So like all along my cheeks are like little fine, fine peach fuzz hair. So I call it peach fuzz face, but. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, is that the UPS man? I think the UPS man's here. I'm just has my Mac order, and if that was the EPS man, then I would be filming a Mac haul after this video. Anyways, I have peach fuzz face, and um, it's very fine, light, blonde hair. You can't even see it on my face unless you're like super close. But sometimes powders might kind of cling to the peach fuzz, and this I don't find 
clings to the peach fuzz. So I love this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I think I found an under eye powder that I'm obsessed with. It may have replaced my Laura Mercier brightening powder because it's amazing. MAC Prep and Prime. This is a white powder, translucent finishing powder. This probably could be used all over your face, but this stuff is awesome for setting your under eye concealer. Sometimes I find that under eye powders can kind of cake up, um, settle into fine lines, kind of make it look worse than it would if you hadn't set, set it at all. This is awesome. I use it with the, this is the Sigma SS 165. I think it's their contour brush. I just kind of dip a little bit in there and I like sweep it under my eyes and it literally just makes any fine line, like it's like an eraser. I feel like it erases any fine line. It just seals my concealer, nothing settles. It doesn't look crepey. I don't look like I'm like 80 years old with wrinkles under my eyes. I take whatever's left and I just kind of dust it in my T-zone area and it helps keep it matte. I feel like it, I don't know if it does, but I feel like it fills in my pores, softens out my whole like pore area. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. So in love with this and I don't find that it has any sparkle, which is good because I don't really want a ton of sparkle right here where I have pores because the sparkle is going to accentuate it and that is the last thing that you want. So, highly recommend if you are looking for an under eye powder. I've been using this for two weeks now and seriously am obsessed. It's just the MAC Prep and Prime and it's their loose transparent finishing powder. It's so good, I really, really love that. So then, um, you're gonna see this in the Get Ready video that I already did, which I posted on Wednesday. If you haven't checked it out, it'll be linked down below in the recent videos. Also, the video that's going up on the 10th, it's the Illamasqua Cream Pigment, Pigment in Hollow. I love this, I've had a lot of people ask me about it. It's just a kind of gray taupey shade. It is the perfect, perfect, perfect shade for contouring. It has a lot of really cool gray tones to it. Think of a shadow, shadows are gray, they're not red, they're not red brown, they're not warm, they're like gray cool toned. This is so perfect for contouring, I love this. You can still use your cream bronzers to warm up your complexion, but this is fantastic for contouring. It's a small little compact thing. I love it. I've been using this weird brush from Sony Kashuk. I don't know what it's called. It's super duper thin, but it's angled. So it's like a giant angled eyeliner brush. And I just, you'll see in the videos if you haven't already watched them, I just dip it in there and I literally just carve out and feather up the contour. It's so natural looking. It just instantly just lifts your cheekbones, gives you definition. You could use this on the side of your nose just to contour any areas you need to. I probably won't use cream bronzers to contour anymore because it's not as natural as something like this, but I'll use the cream bronzers for just warming up my complexion. This is awesome, so good. Love it, love it, love it. Um, a couple lip products that have been stand out to me. Um, one is a rediscovered product in my collection, and it's the Urban Decay Wicked Pencil. I saw Wicked, I'm like, why don't I ever use Wicked anymore? I love that color. Beautiful, just pink color. It looks great to fill that in with your lip, like fill your lips in with that. Then you can pop some light pink lipstick on to lighten it up. You can put a darker color, you put some gloss over it. It lasts all day, the color is so beautiful, I love it. I'm not wearing it right now, but I am wearing my next favorite. These Buxom Big Healthy Lipsticks. I forgot how much I love these. I've been like going through and shopping my stash and just finding products I really love. This one is in Monte Carlo. It's what's on my lips today, which I love. It's like a really pretty berry color. It's a nice pop to your lips, but it's not like a bright fuchsia, like neon color. So it's a nice little change up. And there it is, swatch. And again, this one is in Monte Carlo. I think I said that. Yeah, Monte Carlo. I also have the one in Las Vegas, which is a light pink, but I love this. It's minty. Um, it gives that little tingle to your lips, not like you're being stung by bees, but a nice little tingle. And then I topped it with these new Revlon Super Lustrous glosses, I think. Yeah, this was in the color Fuchsia Finery, and it's just a milky, like magenta, pinky purple color. Doesn't really have a scent or anything, but just a nice gloss. So I've been really, really liking this combination. I think it's super pretty and I just love it. Foundation from Taut to your Glam Life Guru. She always uses this mascara and so I finally got it. It's the Organic Wear From Physicians Formula. 
This one is a rubber bristle brush, just your normal rubber, rubber bristle, but it just makes your lashes look really good mascara. It just, it holds my curl without needing to use waterproof and I just really like it. So that's some of my favorites this month. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm so excited to go on my vacation and for June and audition is being started tomorrow, which is really excited because then hopefully in three months, my makeup room will be in the new edition and it will be awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a great week and a great month and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.